Welcome, welcome back, everybody. Back with some more Cosmo Tear. Look at us right here. Oh, we're doing so good. Let me first start by saying, hey, thanks for the 500 subscribers, everybody. We crossed the line and we did it. So go team. And I'm going to hit that timer. And you're going to hit the like button. And hey, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit it up. Help us keep growing. We're doing pretty good. So we are in the debris field of our battle where the ship uh the brick here took a beating but the good thing is there's a ton of stuff that we can actually pick up and lo and behold we have enough to make the uh diagonal destroyer here Di diag uh, mm, diagonal the destroyer yes we gave it a cool name it looks kind of like a sword or like the the start of a sword. I don't know. It's, I like it. Uh, but there's a few things to note about this ship that just will not work. I had to think about it, and now I think only one person in the comments mentioned uh, power is an issue here. Um, not that we have too little, but we have too much. We're overkilling. And I did think about crew priorities a little bit, and I read somewhere that one six person crew quarter can operate two guns fully as long as the guns are next to a battery or a core so we can rearrange these just slightly to fix the problem um, essentially bring them back a little bit take up some of these cores and do some of that stuff so we are going to do that right now is how are we looking here <laughs> Someone also mentioned that the uh, the laser isn't... Oh my goodness, this is the worst. <laughs> okay, someone said that the laser... Tried to tell me that two lasers will do more damage than this. Um, so here is how I will show you that you are wrong, sir. Uh, let's just say we're at near damage, doing 2,500 per second. If you take two of them, that's 5,000 damage per second. Put it into a single crystal that takes off 25% to the second beam. So you go from 5,000 to let's just say 4,000, even though it's a little less than that, but for the sake of math. So this crystal will be 4,000 damage crystal instead of 5,000. So yes, we've lost some damage, fine. So each one of these crystals is 4,000 damage. Take these two, put them into here. Let's call that 8,000 damage minus 25%. That's 6,000 damage. So these two crystals are now 6,000 damage. Then you do it again, so you have another 6,000 here and here. So we take those two 6,000s, just shoot them here. That's 12,000 minus 25% is 9,000 damage. So I have two 9,000 damage crystals shooting out of here. And my other option is to put another crystal here, have these two shoot into it. Um, so we'll take 18,000 damage roughly minus 25% is some number. So I would rather take both these beams and fire them out the pipe of this ship um, and then hit two areas for 18,000 damage uh, total versus merging these together and hitting one spot for more damage. Now, granted, uh, there is something to be said about rearranging this to be more efficient, but I mean, it's okay. Um, I do need to correct this because this will not work. This... This will work. I think this will work. Because you'll shoot there. You'll shoot here. So I got one shot here and one shot there. So that should work. Um, we'll have to shoot you to that one and you to that one. These two to there. These two to there. And now I can change all this. So first thing I can do here is remove these guys. i also remove these. Because they will not need to be there. Um, so for power, I'm pretty sure one power can do all eight of these guns. I'm pretty sure one power can do all eight of these guns, plus maybe even these shields. And we're going to test this out because I think it can. And I just need to use some walkways and uh, people movers to do it. So the real benefit here, or benefit or challenge, I guess you could say, is where do we put... Uh, oh, I gotta I actually have to move. So the the ratio for these actually only works if you move your lasers like that. This will actually work. Um do we move the other two back as well? I think we do. 
Yeah. So these guys will go there, and then we can put... I want to say I need to do this. Hmm, do I need to do that? Maybe, 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 maybe. I know I'll need to do... If I just put two here, so I'll put one there and one there. These two can operate these four guns, for sure. That's guaranteed. Now, these... This one here will not be able to operate these two guns because it's a travel time. So I'll need a extra, a little extra bit of people. So I think if I just put an additional person here. Now the other thing I could do, I guess, is use operators. But I'll just put an extra one in here. And that should allow enough people to operate these. Now for up here, um, I don't, so I was thinking about this particular thing. So we're going to get shot. Boom, 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 boom. Lots of explosions. Everything's dying. They're probably just going to cut through here because I don't have shields to defend this. Really? The shield stops. You can kind of see it here. So we want to keep the center so they're blasting into these shields and into this armor. But we don't want them really to be shooting here where they're going to start cutting the shields down and this, this path and just drilling a hole through the whole thing. So what I think would happen is they'll probably cut a hole and then blow one of these up, knocking out this entire side or this, like one of the two sides. Um, yeah, so I don't want that to happen. So we're going to delete this and instead, instead use capacitors. So I know that if I put Capacitors next to. Ooh, if I just put it here, that's probably not bad. This is a buffer. I can do it up here too. I'm gonna try it here. So basically, what's gonna happen is these guys are gonna walk from here all the way up to hit this with power, and maybe I'll put one here too. That might work. I don't know. We're going to have to test this to see. I think there's a chance. Uh, ooh. Gross. We'll just... Oops. <laughs> Delete all that. Okay. I need a walkway to this. Uh, yes. Walkway. Uh, door... Door spread fires. Door spread fires. You gotta walk through here to get to that. You can walk over here to power that. Because I don't want that one. Maybe this will work. Maybe. There's a, there's a small chance this will work. Now, I don't think I have enough people uh, to operate it. So, if I have... I just take the extra beds and put them here. So this gives me what? One, two, three, four, five, six. So that's 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. It's too many beds. Too many beds. I kind of just, we might be able to get enough people to run this, but essentially these guys are going to be um, powering shields and guns here they're gonna power all the stuff uh these two guys here are gonna be running power up to these two capacitors that's the general idea and uh these guys this guy here will be running uh yeah this guy here will be running these two guns this guy here will be running these two guns this one will be running these two guns and the second one will be running these two with this one running all of them so he'll be the backup. Now we need doors. Um, we'll put the door there. I'll remove this door. Don't need it. Don't want in-betweens anymore. And we want doors. Less space there, less space there. And on this side. Basically trying to limit the walk distance of every single laser we can get. Um, 
we do need to move this. I don't know what it's for, but it can go there. And this one is gone, I think. I'll have to think about it. Just let me run some extra walkways for a second here. So if that's going to be this way, then it's got to be something useful. Okay, now, in order for us to get power up here, we need a two-step. So we are going to... We are going to two-step our way up here in general. Ooh, what did I do? What, what did I... Okay. <laughs> Don't know what happened there. Um, yeah, you can just go there, and then we will two-step here. We're going to grab you. Put you there. Put you there. And then... That's just going to have to be one, I guess. That's not going to work very well. Mm, okay, well. Let's give it a try. Let's give it a try. Oh, you know what? You know what? We can move all these back one. And then I can two-step through here. Yeah. So, I will need a door here and here. And then I'll need... Yeah, I guess walkways... That way. Mm. Nope. They're just gonna fly through here. That's not gonna work. Airlock. Yeah. Okay, and I think, oh, uh, you know what? This one can't be there. Yeah. Because I need these physically in the places where they are. So you're just going to have to work that way. And then on the return trip... We need to go this way. This way. So walkways, I learned. If, um, if you're walking against the direction they're going, then you have a 25% speed. If you're just crossing them... It's 75% speed. Uh, this needs to go there, and you need to go and be regular. Okay, that will feed that. What if I do this? You here. You here. Just put armor there, and we'll do some walkway... People movers. Uh, you come out. You can do one step. And you can just go this way. Like so. So anything goes this way, it's going to go really fast. Um, downside about all this, if anything hits it, it'll probably blow it all up because it's going to be... It'll be storage of ammo. So... I don't want that. I want armor. Sure. Uh, you can go. Oh boy. This is awkward. Super awkward. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, so if we do have explosions in the back, it's probably going to blow up the entire place, but I want to keep our ammo to the back here. 
Um, now we don't need power here. Because nothing... Well, you need power there, but I think it's going to be fine. I think it will be fine. So if I just... Put in the armor here for now. Should be okay. Um, this isn't great. Probably do that. Just to keep the walkways okay. Um, now the other thing is with these these guns here probably should be running capacitors to them, which I mean, isn't a terrible idea. Do something, I mean just put it right there. It's actually not a bad idea to just put it right as close to these things as possible. I don't know if the capacitors blow up. But I do know that the, at least the guns will get the ammo they need. All right, let's do a quick pass on the various doors to make sure everything's good. Uh, you, you doors there, bad. You doors there, bad. Door here, good. Door, so if a guy's coming this way down, he's going to come out of here, probably just there. Whatever. That's going to be fine. Alright, so I think... I think this will work better. I don't need a door between these two. I don't need this door or this door. Uh, yes, I do, actually. I'll take it back. I do need those doors. So basically what's going to happen is the guys running... These two guns will just be walking back and forth. And then the guys running these, this gun and this gun will be just walking back and forth. And then these ones are going to have to be going back and forth this way. And I don't need that door either. Not required. Um, for the engines, they'll need power. But they'll take, so they'll take power from here to get there. These two will feed everything down here, I guess. All this stuff. These guys. Uh, what if I just do this? We got power. You're taking power. Why is it red? No Hyperium access. Okay. Nearest power 38 meters. That's far. Maybe this will work, maybe not. I don't know. We're going to find out, though. We're going to do it together. We're going to do it right now. Make it so, number one. We have a new ship. Welcome, Diagon Law Destroyer. Welcome. Everybody, get inside. Start doing stuff. All right, so we don't need any missiles on the ship. Do we have any room in this guy? We do. So you just come here. I actually don't even know if this thing will fly. And also need to do crew. So let's do our crew management here. Um, let's pause real quick. Okay, so definitely these are runners. Um, you, okay, you're runners. First things first, you are dedicated crew. Do we need red shirts? I don't think so. I think I need... I think I need just engineers. Um, I knew you are engineers. I know you are engineers for sure. But then I need, I think I need eight people. So I probably don't need this many runners. What do we have, 104? Let's, um, Let's modify those to singles. And I'll just put a piece of armor in there for safety. What is this mess? Don't even know. Don't even know. It's just a it's just a mess of armor. <laughs> some of it's right, some of it's wrong. Who knows? Uh, okay, whatever. Whatever. Alright, these oh, I didn't make it so, did I? I did not. These will be engineers. So if I, 
Uh, did I mess it up? I took six and turned it into four. I took 12 and turned it into four. <sighs> yeah, I kind of messed it up. Because these two run those, these two run those. I need... Yeah, mess that up. Uh, okay. Um, not mirrored. There you go. You. Get back in the ship, please. We will have you guys run... You run this. And... That. You run this. That means... You guys are running this one. You guys are running this one. Okay. You... I think I make you guys red shirts. Well, if I'm gonna make them red shirts, then I need to... Ooh. This priority takes control, so let's make them... What if I do two red shirts here? Do you like this guy? And this guy as reds. They operate... One, two, three. You operate one, two, three. You operate one, two, and... That's it? So those get operated. Um, you guys are responsible for this battery and all these guns. You're responsible for Ooh. This is gnarly. Um, I think I need to keep you running there, and I need... Hmm. I need you running that. I need you running that. This and this. You, I need you running this and this. And you, I need you running... All these... Good luck. That is your job. And then you guys need to be red shirts. I believe that was the cause. And then I would have you run these guns dedicated. Is that working? Oops. Let's turn this off for a second. Well, this, these guns aren't even operating, so that's not working automatically. I need an extra bunk. Well, we have empty... Do we have empties? Mm. Yeah, I need an extra bunk. Okay. So we'll do... An extra bunk right here. Right near the missile storage. And it will be red shirts. I need two. I need a six man. What if I do like this and like this and make them red shirts? So then I can do something like this. You run that one. You run that one. Whenever you get people. Is that going to work? Um, right. Now I need to move things. So I need to make ammo... I can't click on the ammo. Oh. These have to be ammo. Um, missile parts I need back. I need to get missile parts off the ship. But these definitely have to be ammo. Uh, sulfur can be wherever it wants. Because we're just going to grab random stuff. And I think... Yeah. 
Yeah, I want Hypernium. We can put the Hypernium in here. And we can make these steel. Just to make sure it doesn't blow up. That's where we'll keep our steel. And our missile parts will go elsewhere. Anywhere elsewhere. Okay, let's have a look. How's the ship doing? Ah, yes, we need to do these now. Okay, so you are going to aim here. 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 This one's off right now. No power. Oh, there's no door on it. How did that happen? Yeah, how did that happen? I had doors on everything slated so perfectly. Okay, well, I guess not. <laughs> okay. Um, yes, so you are aimed, right? You're aimed, you're aimed, you're aimed. You aim out here. This is going to be gnarly, all right? I know, you're ready. You're ready for it. You are ready. You shoot there. You shoot there. You shoot right here. Oh, craziest beam ever. Come on. You. If I just make you shoot up this way, I don't want it to be gimbaled. I know. People are going to be like, ah, oh, you should gimbal it. Well, we're going to try like this. Basically, if this one gimbals into that one, I'll take this whole 9,000 damage and take down 25% because this one's shooting into it. It's going to like mess up the damage calculation. How come that's not... There's no people in that one. We're short crew. That's the main problem. We have 104 and we need 150. I think I might have extra crew though operating here. And I don't know how fast this thing drives either. Um, looks like it's slow. Slow like molasses. Yes, it is super duper slow. Let's just grab everything here. And we'll have to go get uh, more. Okay, why? Weird. All right, let's just grab some stuff. I don't know how much stuff we can grab though. Oh yeah, tons actually. Okay, well, you know, things are happening. We do have ammo here. Can I like deactivate this gun somehow? I can. So I know these work. I don't want to waste the ammo. I definitely know they work. So what I want to do is say, face this direction. And uh, can I just attack this direction? Can I right click on this? No. Can I strafe? Let me halt. Okay, well, I'll just shoot here. Nope. Oh, uh, can I? There's a way to do this. Um. Uh, yeah, it's these buttons. So if I grab all this and go. Auto fire thrusters? No, I don't want fire thrusters. Uh, hold control. I would like to infinite fire, please. Okay, you can see the beams. All right, there they are. Hopefully this isn't too loud. You know what? Let me turn it down. There you go. Um, this. Yeah, we're low on crews, so we're, we can't fire everything. So that's that's a problem. That makes this like super inefficient. Our damage is like super low because of that. But you can see power's keeping up with this group anyway. Look at that. These two aren't shooting. Why not? Crew probably. All right. 
just just fire at will. Okay, 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 that's fine. All right, well, let's just grab everything. Just, just the timer. The timer. All right, let's get all the missiles out. We don't need any of them. I'd rather take that. Um, and we don't need any of this stuff. We need the sulfur, though. No longer need iron. Get that moving. You just go here and collect uh, that stuff. And we'll just watch these people. So what we'll do... Let me turn these on. We'll, um, we'll get out into the world somewhere. There's no one working these guns. Are these supposed to be red dudes? They might have been. They probably were supposed to be red shirts. And they were supposed to probably run that. Yeah. So they won't have any crew. Unless there's people there. Um, so we're short. So what we'll do in the next episode, we're going to go grab some crew from the various stations. And then do some weapons testing. And uh, yes, I do read the comments. So if you see that things aren't great, then let me know. But, uh, you know, we have some defenses here. Not great. It's not the heaviest the armored ship in the world. But it can get heavier. And we can add in more, uh, more engines. If we, like, wing this out to the side, maybe. Or extend it out back a little bit. Do something. Also, the armor just needs to be thicker in general. There's, there's a few things. So I will see you folks in the next episode. What are you doing? Go over... Okay, it's obviously... The ship is mildly stupid. <laughs> it flies very weird. Pick up as much stuff as you can. Pick up the rest. I'll see you in the next episode, folks.